Hey everybody, what's good y'all? Today I decided to make a slightly different kind of video. If your practice amp is anything like mine, it's probably this uh, boring black little speaker box. While they do serve its purpose, I think uh, sometimes if you have something that's fun to look at, it inspires you to play a little bit more. So I'm gonna be turning this amp into something a little more fun, kind of a graffiti themed. I've looked into retoluxing it, I've looked into spray painting it, and I definitely wanted to do something that didn't really destroy it, but it definitely changed the look of it. So I figured covering it with stickers is a good way to go. In case I screw up, the worst thing that can happen what, is I'll be out a few stickers. So hey, not a big deal. This is a fun little weekend project that you can get done in a day. I got these stickers from Amazon. We're going to be disassembling it, you know, taking off its handles and its little corner covers. And let's see how it turns out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack of stickers. Initially, I thought I was gonna sort the stickers based on the ones that I liked and the ones I did not like in my maybe pile, but it didn't exactly work out that way. As you will see later in this video, there were definitely a lot of great stickers in this pack and maybe some that are a little more basic, but overall, I recommend this purchase. Definitely gotta give the amp a good cleaning. It was quite dirty. All right, now as you're disassembling the amplifier, you wanna make sure you keep track of all the screws and bits because it is very easy to lose them, especially if you're working in carpet. The back piece was the most difficult to disassemble, but we got it wedged out of there with the uh, flathead screwdriver. All right, so this is where we're gonna make our first mistake. As you can see, I'm working with the edges of the amp. And while that was a good idea, I neglected to notice that you can actually wedge the stickers in between the grill cloth and the amp. So once I realized my mistake, I wasted all of these stickers. And so while that was kind of a bummer, it definitely didn't deter me from continuing the work. We're gonna go ahead and start over again. The important part is that you are wedging the stickers in between the amp and grill cloth. That way they do not peel out of there. It's a great way to keep them in place. We're just gonna keep going. We're looking for stickers that have good edges or larger stickers. Smaller stickers here would be very difficult to work with. Towards the top of the amp, we have the same deal. You want stickers that kind of wrap around and luckily we'll be able to hide them with the control dials. A lot of these food stickers make me hungry, that's for sure. All right, so here we got the right idea. Instead of sorting the stickers by ones that I like the most, we were actually gonna resort them by size, working with larger stickers first, and then kind of uh, filling in the gaps with the smaller ones. Definitely save some of your favorite stickers or ones that you find the most visually appealing for the uh, front and sides. All right, as we're getting towards the end of the project, I am hoping I do not run out of stickers. I was a little bit hesitant and worried that I would run out or not have enough, but luckily I was able to uh, complete the project. Again, you wanna work from big to small. All right, now we're gonna reassemble the amp. Make sure you get the back piece with all the stickers nice and tucked in. And now here's where I could have saved a little bit of time by marking where the screw holes go as I was working on the stickers. So this part took me a little bit longer than I had wanted to, but I was able to get it all back together without any spare screws. 